Hello, I'm Mark and welcome back to the Sim Hanger, the Sim Hanger for all things flight sim related. This video is not about me, it's about you. There's a lot of noise in the flight sim community at the moment and most of that is surrounding the upcoming release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Social media is awash with information as we follow the progressive updates on this flight simulator from Microsoft and Asobo Studios. There's a lot of opinions in terms of what this flight simulator will be, could be, or should be. I released a video a few weeks ago on the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and in that video we did a 10 minute catch up on what we know about this flight sim so far. In addition, I posed a number of questions. Is this the next gen flight sim platform we've all been waiting for? What does that mean for our current flight sim packages? And will we continue to invest in what we've got at the moment or will we hold off? I also encourage you to express your views and opinions and wow, you really did. Over 900 comments have been received. And so in this video, we're going to see what you said about the upcoming flight simulator. If you'd like to see more from SimHanger, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for future notifications. Well, thank you to everybody for leaving your comments and for your support. Without your comments, this video wouldn't have been possible. Now, well, it's time to pop next door and let's have a look at the questions and your answers. Yeah, it's time to get started. As a point of clarity, the data presented is a direct extraction of the comments and likes received against my previous video, and therefore is fairly representative of the comments, but not necessarily of the flight sim community at large. However, the range of views come from a diverse and wide variety of people and places, and therefore I believe the results are indicative of the flight sim community at this time. The questions will appear in the top bar and the percentage shown at the top in brackets is the percentage of responses that related to this subject matter and the answers they're shown in the bar below. The first set of questions deals with people's views on the forthcoming flight simulator and how that will impact on their current flight sim. The first and most popular topic was, of course, will they purchase Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? And a large majority, 76% said yes, 8% said emphatically no, and 16% remain undecided. A large number of people being undecided at this time is quite understandable because more information is needed. The next topic commented on fairly heavily is will I abandon my current flight sim? And of the respondents that replied to that, 80% said yes, 6% said absolutely not, and a fairly large proportion, 14%, remain undecided. The next common theme raised in the comments is, is this a market disruptor? Is this the next gen simulator? 91% felt yes it was, 8% said no way, and don't know only a small percentage at 1%. The fourth and final question on the sim related topics is will I continue to invest in my current flight sim? 37% said emphatically yes they would continue, while 63% said no. There were no maybes in this category. Results such as these could be a worry for developers.
There were three major concerns raised, and the first one was about hardware. What sort of computer hardware and computer graphics are going to be required in order to run this at the detail shown in the promotional content? The second and most obvious one is what bandwidth, what internet speed is going to be needed to stream that level of detail straight to the PC? My favourite comment coming from a gentleman in Melbourne where he said it would be like playing flight sim in Minecraft. And the third concern responded to with some passion was whether or not you would buy this on subscription via Xbox Game Pass at 10 US per month. And the answers were clear and categoric. Two thirds of the people that responded on this topic were very passionate indeed in saying an outright purchase or no purchase at all. The good news is it looks like it's going to be available on subscription and as a direct purchase. And now on to the third and final section of questions, the most topical features discussed. And first and foremost was VR, with 28% saying it's a must-have, and 14% not bothered. The second most queried feature was an interesting one, and one I had not anticipated, and that was, will there be a career mode and missions? Well, I have some good news, because it looks like this is planned for the initial release. My thanks to Violence 77 for the heads up. It looks like a Sobo on their careers page on their website are recruiting a number of positions and one of them is a mission designer for Flight Simulator. The next most talked about feature was physical modeling of any crash damage on the aircraft. How cool would that be? Over 40 comments and thumbs up on this one. Whatever your personal views, there's no question that the flight sim community is abuzz with interest and to some degree excitement about this new flight simulator coming to market. I see that the development program has already pushed well into February and we're just starting the alpha phase. So when can we expect this? Well, at best I would think it'd be towards the latter half of next year. There's no doubt that the level of accuracy and detail of this flight simulator is unsurpassed in the market at this time. You can fly over your house. However, I think the big question in everybody's mind is what sort of hardware is going to be required and more importantly perhaps, what sort of bandwidth is going to be required? What internet speed are you going to need in order to get that level of detail and fidelity? I suspect the success or otherwise is going to have a lot to do with how advanced Microsoft can make the file compression. If you've got a view, please leave it in the notes below. I'd really like to know what your personal view is. I hope you found this useful and informative. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again soon and happy Christmas. Bye for now.